channel back test lab today we will be talking uh, about uh, spring for shell the latest vulnerability uh, right now we have uh, it is um, as severe as almost log4j so because it it has uh, the rc capability that means remote code execution capability so we'll be uh, checking the uh, exploit poc uh, along with some uh, overview of the vulnerability so uh, spring for shell security analysis of the so this is the link uh, i will be sharing uh, in the description mm, so this is the spring for shell and here are the uh, few technical uh, details of the vulnerability and the impact and the overview so let's find out the exact overview so this is the name the spring for shell and uh, if you talk about the details, Spring framework for Java vulnerable to the remote code execution, the vulnerability uh, has the CVE, CV 2022-22965, uh, actually 29th of March, developer found uh, the message from the other security researcher that there's a vulnerability called RC, uh, but before uh, patching, uh, somehow the vulnerability, the information of the uh, exploit got leaked and now it is in public so we will be checking that one and the 31st March that means yesterday uh, like uh, spring framework uh, version 5.3.18 and 5.2.20 uh, has been released uh, this is a patched version and spring boot 2.6.6 .6 and 2.5.12 have been released as well so this is the workaround uh, till date and so we will be talking to the POC uh, and this is the impact it is almost the similar impact of log4j heartbleed and shellshock uh, I will share this document with you uh, and this is the recommendation and uh, obviously the recommendation is to upgrade the to the patched version and uh, like if you if it is not possible then uh, the flaw can be mitigated by setting the disallowed uh, field on the web data binder uh, through an uh, controller advice uh, i'll be sharing the link of this particular uh, resource so that at least we can understand so let's talk about the poc uh, that is available so you will check multiple pocs are there but uh, i'll check this one as a poc so for this poc see this is a, a spring for shell it's a docker image the vulnerable uh, it is a vulnerable docker image for poc so what is the requirement docker and docker compose uh, is there and a python 3 request library needs to be installed so i have installed all of them so first of all let's clone the repo i have already cloned the repo so let's open my terminal over there and uh, run the container so this is the run okay in the container let's uh, see oh uh, cd mm, it's spring for shell poc ls docker file is there okay so the command is docker compose up double dash build so uh, it will build the docker uh, it will take some time uh, for the first time it will take some time around 440 around uh, 7 to 8 minutes it might take time but after that it will yeah it is i think it is done uh, so that let's talk about uh, this is the uh, i'm copying this one mm, copy and let's pay. oh sorry my bad uh, let's let paste over there yes hello world uh, exploit me yes it is running now let's see mm, let's go to the document yeah this is the exploitation uh, now this is the python command python exploit then i need to provide the url and then dash f dash f means the file name 
uh, so for your information whenever the file uh, actually uh, will get executed uh, a uh, a shell a, a jsp shell will be uploaded over there uh, the root directory and the name of the file will be the shell shell this is the name of the file uh, so let's upload this one so let's run this command uh, first okay i think i need another instance of the terminal now this is the terminal uh, cd sp spring uh, it is python python 3 then exploit.py dash url i have already copied that one hello world it is i guess the same one yes greeting uh, greeting one and then dash f file name uh, and this file name the file name now let's say uh, it's bug test lab so before whenever i uh, run this command now uh, you will get a bug test lab shell over there and you can check the visit the created web shell like shell.php by default and this will be the outcome shell.jsp uh, shell.jsp is there because they have uh, mentioned over there uh, let me minimize this one they have mentioned this one the name the name of the file will be shell here i am using bug test lab so let's uh, instead of doing this let's do one thing sorry let me do one thing let's see whether bug test lab dot jsp colon cmd equal to id is there or not see there is no id because i haven't created the file i haven't run the exploit uh, at all so that is why it is not being created yet so back to slab dot jsp so once i run the exploit you can see um, the back to slab dot jsp will be uploaded and i can call this one so let's see uh, i am running this one yeah exploit completed check your target uh, shell and this is the one see back to slab dot, dot okay now let me run the command again yeah so you can see that now it is being uploaded via uh, the exploitation of the vulnerability now uh, i can run multiple command like say it is id u name dash a is there so this is the output and so this is the output of this is the u name this is the container version actually and let me check the ls yeah this is the three files are there okay so now uh, where it is the bug test lab dot jsp why it is being created so if you check that one if you uh, for that one you need to go to the exploit uh, here the this is the exploit this is the core uh, exploitation data and the file location is web apps root this is web apps root this is the by default file location but you can change this one so okay uh, we can change this one and with the command d or uh, directory double dash directory so yeah this is the uh, exploitation part uh, i think uh, so in this video we have actually uh, understood what is the vulnerability and this is the information of the vulnerability and how to mitigate the vulnerability uh, for mitigation uh, the uh, there's a release is there uh, we, you need to upgrade as soon as possible uh, if it is not possible then you need to uh, avoid you need to actually uh, set this particular variable uh, through control advice 
and all the resources will be sharing in the descriptions please check on that and uh, subscribe the uh, channel and like the video and share the video to the uh, audience who are actually willing to know about the cybersecurity. Thank you. Thank you so much.